Hello, Book Fighters. It is Thursday, June 9th, um, and there are boxes behind me, and I'm recording this on my webcam again because I still haven't finished unpacking all the way, um, but it should improve from here, hopefully. Um, intro. It's time for the intro. Let's just do that now. <laughs> This week I read Lockpick Pornography by Joey Camo. It's my favorite Joey Camo book after It's Too Late to Say I'm Sorry. Um, it's his first book. It came out several years ago. Um, and it's definitely one that I really enjoy. It's one that I can read um, and reread. And I have a ton of quotes highlighted in here. Um, so it's definitely one of one of the books that I really enjoy. Um, it does sort of come with a manifesto. I think that it would be a little bit difficult to enjoy this book if you didn't already share its politics to a certain degree. It's one that I can really see Sarah enjoying, um, and probably Laura too. Lauren. Lauren. Not Laura. It's a whole different friend. But I can't really see Julia or Dan liking this at all. Um, but I really liked it. And it's worth a read, especially if you're familiar with Joey Camo. Um, he does a softer world comic, so it has that same sort of vibe to it. Um, just the, at some points, incredibly sad. Um, and others, just hysterical. And all the way through, it's completely inappropriate. It's, you know, there's sex and violence and kidnapping and foul-mouthed characters and that aren't incredibly likable. But the book all comes together in this way that's very enjoyable um, and at times incredibly poignant um, but it is a little heavy-handed like I said it does kind of come with a manifesto which will probably get in the way of some people's enjoyment of it it doesn't for me I can always come back to it and like it mostly because I agree with a lot of the things that it's saying um, but not everybody would feel that way, and I think a lot of people might be put off by the tone of it, um, even if they might agree with the politics of it. So it's sort of, it's one that I really love, um, but I can see that not everybody would. I was going to try to do a synopsis of it, but I really don't know how to summarize this in any kind of way that would make sense. It's very, um, there's a lot of queer politics in it, LGBT politics. And there's a lot of, like, the characters go around and commit, like, misdemeanors, and they're all drunk all the time, and all of these other things. Um, and, and the, why he's in the, the Burt mask, um, they decide to break into an elementary school, I believe, um, and plant their own books onto the shelves to, to shatter the heteronormative paradigm. Um, so it's just, it's really funny. Um, at times it takes itself too seriously, but then it doesn't take itself seriously at all, kind of all at once. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this book in a way that would make you actually want to read it, but just, I really liked it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, what else can I say? What else can I say? I mean, I've read it at least four times. I read it when he was first serializing it. He was releasing it a chapter at a time online. So that's when I first read it, and it was a long time ago. It was when I still lived with my parents, so I was probably in high school at the time. I don't know what else to say about this, but I feel like I, I haven't done it justice. Um, it's very subversive. It's very funny. It will make you absolutely uncomfortable at times. I don't know. I don't know. You should read it. I always love it every time that I read it. And every time I go back, I get a different sort of tone off of it. And not all books do that. Sometimes you come back to it and it's like, yep, that's just how I remembered it. Um, but yeah, this one I can return to and get a different sense of it every time and have different feelings about it every time. Probably because it is so stark. Like, it's not generic in any way. Like, it has its points, and it's gonna make them, and this is how it's gonna go. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is, is a terrible video, um, and not a good representation of the book, but I don't know what else I could possibly say about this book. If you're gonna read anything by Joey Camo, I would recommend, um, It's Too Late to Say I'm Sorry first, and this one second. That's all I got. 
right now. I'm not going to continue trying to talk about this because I feel like every word that I say is doing damage instead of making people want to read it. And since nobody else has posted a video since I posted mine on Sunday, there obviously aren't any questions for me to answer and nobody has answered mine. Um, so my question is just the one they asked in Sunday's video. Um, so everyone answer that next week. And that's all I have for you. So goodbye. Julia, I'll see you tomorrow.